Good morning. Day 96, and it's a rainy one. It, uh, it was supposed to start raining about six last night, so I got to camp early, set up my tent and everything, got in. Well, it uh, it didn't start raining until about like 10. But then, of course, it's pouring rain this morning while I'm packing up to leave. That's all right. Um, looks like the sun's gonna come out here shortly. It's supposed to. So, beautiful night next to that uh, brook, or not brook, a stream, river, whatever you wanna call it. Um, slept really good last night, being back in the tent. And now I'm just climbing for a while and not sure how far I'm gonna go today. The town of, um, I can't remember the town. That's in, oh, there's a town in, um, 26 miles I'd really like to get to because you can camp in a guy's yard there, but not sure if that's going to happen or not. So we'll see. A lot of uh, now, a lot of elevation change all the way up to Katahdin. So every day is just going to be a roll in the dice. Right. <clears throat> Here's been the trail this morning. It's been a lot of climbing up and down, but the trail itself is in actually pretty good shape. A few blowdowns here and there, but not being not bad for being remote all right well finally looks like the sun's coming out a little bit the rain stopped and it's now just dripping off the trees and everything i just passed um a coyote that had um killed something it was going down the trail and i came over the trail and he went under or he was coming up a hill and i was coming over the hill and he took off running so um, big coyote though, first one I've seen <clears throat> in quite a while. Alright, made it to the, it's called the Lookout. It's actually a cabin. It's my own. Let's hike or stay in here. Let's go check it out. Alright, here's the inside cabin. Got a loft up there. It's fully enclosed with actually windows and everything. Man, I really wish I could have got here last night. It's even got a fireplace. And outside, I'm gonna take you out there in a minute. So this is what the lookout's known for. Climbed up the stairs. On the roof, they actually have a platform. And look at this view. Holy cow. Uh, trees block a little bit this way, but let's get through that. And then we'll get over here. That's west over there. Look at that view. Just awesome up here. Really want to make it here to be able to watch the sunset, but I see last night it wouldn't have been a sunset. So here's the trail after the lookout cabin there as I'm heading north. Really nice, well used. Right there's like a parking lot down here like less than a mile so I'm sure a lot of people will hike in to hang out at that cabin so so neat and uh, pretty awesome that's private property that they let people use it uh, and let through hikers stay there so pretty pretty amazing all right coming into Wincher I think I pronounce it shelter I had to come over here, it's a point two off, but I had to come over here to get some water. There's no water really on trail, so. Not a bad little spot. I just popped out of the woods into a little like open, uh, I don't know, just open area on top of the, top of one of the hills. So, got just about a mile left down to a road. I'm gonna stop there and eat lunch and dry my tent. I just came out to a beautiful pasture. Look at the mountains. Going down to that road down here. And gonna drive my tent and eat lunch. All right, got on top of the mountain. And there's a blaze there. And stuck in a rock pile. I think it's like three more miles to a shelter. Like six or seven more to town if I'm going to town. We'll see. All right, coming into Thurstall Hill 
shelter. Have to break here, figure out I'm gonna continue to town and just stay here for the night. I don't know. Yeah, it's a big shelter. It's all right. Nice little bench here. All right, decided not to stay at the shelter. Got head into town. And here's a little view of some of the walk I got. So we got like four miles to go to get into this little town where I can stay. Probably into my yard is what it is. So that's what I'm gonna do. I give me less miles to do tomorrow when it's rain all day. I got the maple trees all strung up to get maple syrup. That's just amazing to me how they do that. Here's a pretty cool section. I'm walking through the trees. It's been off and on like this, but it's young growth. Obviously it's been cut multiple times and this is young growth. So it's kind of pretty. It's completely, obviously completely shaved in. All right, came out of the woods finally. Now I just full road walk into town, the town of West Hartford, Vermont. And I'm gonna walk down here and there, apparently there's a guy that lets you camp his yard. Okay, this is some ultimate trail magic here. Um, there's a couple in town here that let hikers stay in their backyard. So, got a tent pitch there. They got a gazebo with power, which I'm gonna charge stuff up. And I got a little table here to eat at. Yeah, waterfall, I'm gonna soak my feet. And port about a port a potty back there, right here on trail in town. Phenomenal. Check out this beautiful waterfall. A little pond I got here. I might soak my feet in for a minute. Right next to the gazebo where you can just hang out. I got my stuff charging up there. Truly really low oasis right here. All right, let's do end of day recap for day 96 from Captain Stash and Scooter's Oasis. Um, so this morning I started off uh, stuff camping at Stony Brook and just kept going. It rained on me the first couple hours and finally quit. It was a beautiful day the rest of the day, just a lot of climbing up and down. Uh, ended up getting here to West Hartford, Vermont this evening uh, where Captain Stash, you can see that his house behind me. He has uh, he lets campers come and or hikers come in his yard and so you can see my tent there um, and he hiked the I know for sure the PCT I think he said like 30 years ago but pretty awesome um, great couple they do uh, they got obviously drinking water on the outside of the house so um, yeah just a great place to spend the night so that being said today was a 26.6 so just over a marathon, it was a long day. Tomorrow it's going about uh, eight miles from here over to Hanover, um, which is right on the New Hampshire border. And then I'll be in New Hampshire. It's supposed, to, uh, supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so I think I'm just gonna do a really short day over there. And then um, I've gotta do some resupply and probably eat, hang out in town a little bit. And then I don't know, maybe do seven or six or seven miles out of town after that. Um, just because it's going to be raining all day, so. Be a short mile day since I put in a long day today, so. Um, and update on my pack. So I got an email this morning that the Garage Gear Company had already filed their claim with UPS because they got the same story that UPS lost it. Another pack to me today that'll be at a hostel I'm going to stop out here in about four days. So... Super excited to get that, and thanks so much for doing that. Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, this is Half Mile. Have a good night.